Hi guys. So today is Saturday. Wow. Um, we got back from the hospital on, what day was it? Wednesday. Uh, we, so we were just there for a couple of days, Monday to Wednesday, and now we are back home. Kendall is doing great. They never actually figured out what was wrong, which is very confusing, I guess. Uh, we ran a lot of tests and nothing came back positive except for uh, C. diff, but it was already colonized, which in 80% of kids, they just already have C. diff colonized in their body. So it's not like the infection that's raising her high temps and heavy breathing. So we never really got an answer, but there was no reason for us to stay there any longer. Uh, they didn't even let us, they actually let us out earlier than what we expected because the last time they checked her sodium, it was still 140, I want to say seven, which is still a little high. Uh, you want a 145 or a little bit lower, but she caught it. Her last blood draw got her at 147, but they had such a hard time getting her blood that they poked her so many times that they said, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to just let you go home. Hi, Buck. You are awake. I thought you fell asleep. So yeah, my house is a mess because, well, we did a lot of in and outs and we did a lot of laziness because we were just so exhausted from getting our days and nights mixed up and Kendall adjusted getting home very quickly. Um, as you saw in that last little clip, Kendall's getting way stronger. It's only been about two to three weeks and she's already has way better head control. She already has the idea of putting pressure on her shoulders, which is amazing. If I lay her on her back, she's reaching more and she's having that grabbing motion more. Uh, this cast is actually a really good thing for us because it's getting her stronger and she's able to be on her tummy. Mm -hmm. I know some of you guys were pretty concerned about the last couple go videos of her head getting really smashed in the carpet. It wasn't as smashed as it looked. And because of that, now she is having way better control with her head. So it's really a blessing. Um, she is moving mountains, so that's awesome. Right now, she I thought she fell asleep, but it kind of sounds like she's awake. Uh, we woke up this morning so we could watch church online. We're right now doing this thing at church. It's called October Rest, so that's a Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, and then Sunday morning, we have different pastors from really around the country, I think from California, uh, Virginia, and Michigan, which is pretty awesome. And they come to our church and they're really good friends with my pastor and they talk and give their own little messages. And the big question was, what has 2020 taught you? And it's just awesome. If you want to check that out, they do have a YouTube page. Um, I'll put it below. You can go check it out. I'm not sure it will be up yet, but they do have past messages on there. You can check out if you'd like. And so, yeah, so today I'm going to be cleaning because, again, our house is a disaster. Hi, princess. She's like, just let me sleep, mom. I will. I'll let you go tonight. night. The fact that she can move her head side to side now while lifting it up, huge. In such a little time, which is amazing. Praise the Lord because that is what we've been praying for and that is what is happening. So that's awesome. Uh, if you can't tell. My house is just, it's not at, like terrible, but there's just stuff and like dishes are starting to pile up. We have like 10 cups on our little table over here. So I guess I'm just gonna start taking that up. Look, we got pictures finally. I developed pictures so we don't have those cars. In past videos, you would just like look at the cars <laughs> that came with the picture frames. But look, now we have some cutesy pictures with the Miss Kendall bug. Okay, so I am gonna do all these dishes. That's really, that's really about it. Okay, so I just got done cleaning the dishes. I'm just gonna kind of pick up around the kitchen a little bit and then move to the living room. Carlos is making ribs for tonight. He makes the best food ever. It's gonna be so good. Are you gonna do it on the smoker outside? Yeah. Ah, it'll take like six hours, but they always are really good. Kendall, I just checked on her right before I started filming. She is asleep. I figured she'd fall asleep. She likes to sleep on her tummy in the morning. I don't let her at night for obvious reasons. I'm not awake and I can't see her. But most nights I do stay up till like two, Carlos? Just about. Just about two and have her on my chest so she can sleep on her stomach while I'm in the recliner. And 
Then I lay her down on her back because, you know, you have to flip them with a spica cast back and forth. And I'll do that most nights until she falls asleep because she wants to sleep on her stomach. But I won't let her because that scares me. That's not safe sleeping. But then I'll lay her on her back in her crib with a pillow underneath her legs. And she usually does pretty good and she usually stays asleep. So yeah, it's really just a cleaning, hanging at home day, hanging out at home day. What are you doing? I'm gonna film this. Are you gonna make a YouTube account? Um, I'm not just putting it on TikTok, but if yeah. want me to make it. All right. <laughs> yeah, TikTok, go follow, go follow Carlos. But yeah, we're just gonna hang out. I'm gonna let Kendall sleep while she sleeps. I'm gonna try to catch up on laundry dishes, cleaning, my usual. So right now we are watching Infinity Wars, <laughs> one part of our Marvel movies. Again, we're doing all of them in order. We're almost done, a couple movies left. Carlos is hanging out. I got the living room practically picked up. Kendall is still napping. She's kind of been in and out, which is very normal for around this time of day. I'm on the bike while watching this. And that's really about it. In like half an hour, it's time to, for Kendall to eat again. I bet she'll wake up for that. And then we'll get playing. We'll get her to play some more and do some physical therapy things. That's really all for now. Okay, we're back. I flipped Kendall on her back so that she can be flipped back and forth. It was time to be on her back and it woke her up. And she's a little grumpy. She's a little hungry. I got her all hooked up to her food. And I'm gonna start that real quick. Kendall, beep, 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 beep. What does that mean? She's, she's a little mad. Um, I got this handy dandy tool. While we continue our uh, movie, I'll be helping Kendall with some stimulant, with some stimulating toys. I'll get her to calm down before we start that, of course. And moving her legs and arms a little bit for some physical therapies. Um, yeah, she just woke up, so she's a little mad about that. But when she starts feeling the food going into her stomach, I'm sure she'll calm down. Go, clap. Go, yay! Oh, look at that bruise. That's from getting blood drawn, or they tried to. Her arms are just all bruised up. Like, my goodness. Oh, it looks worse on camera, but that's so sad. You can see little holes. Thank you. Oh, wow. But yeah, you can see bruises there. All the little holes where they poked her. They poked her so many times because it's really hard to get blood from her. Like, it's so hard. It's super important to keep her feet moving. She doesn't really like that right now. Kendall! <laughs> but to keep them pointed and move around and to make sure that the cast isn't rubbing up against her skin. Can you point? Good job! Yay! Hi, princess. You the big girl. Yeah. <laughs> you the big girl. You gonna chew on mommy's hand? I'm sorry. She's been so good. Hi, princess girl. Where's daddy? Kendall, hey. I'm gonna get mommy's fingers. Hi, princess. Get out of that. Thank you. <laughs> she didn't like that. Okay, so something about us is we love to watch movies, but a lot of movies that we watch, we pause like 20 times, especially with Kendall, you know. Look at her, so big, big girl. She's kind of looking at a toy right now. Um, she's on her tummy again, we switched her back. We did hold her for a little while, we mostly held her on her back, but we did kind of both, because she was in a very playful mood. I have her on her stomach right now to do some more tummy time. She's just getting so strong. While she's doing that, Carlos is checking on the ribs, 
and I'm gonna be, well, making our bed and stuff. We do have company coming later today. Uh, we have his mom, aunt, and cousin. I wanted to say nephew, but it's not his nephew. Um, they're gonna come and they're gonna hang out with us. And they wanna see Miss Kendall. And I don't think they've seen this house since we've renovated it, like with the new carpet, flooring. I think his mom has, but I don't think his aunts have. So, yeah. All right, so we're just hanging out. We're waiting, I think, for supper. Supper's practically done, I think. Carlos has been cooking these ribs all day, so they're gonna be so good, right? Say right, say right, mama. <laughs> She's so pretty. Hey, you're so pretty. Who's a pretty girl? I got Kendall's a shirt on and her hair all done. She looks super pretty. Are you excited? Kendall, who's coming to see you? Is Mimi coming? Yay! Say Mimi's coming to see me. Oh, yeah, so we're just kind of hanging out. I got most things picked up. Kendall's been playing a little bit. She's way more awake. Do you like this song? Yeah, you like Elsa songs, don't you? Mwah. Mm. My little snuggle bug. Yeah, you're so big, you're so strong, you're so smart. I bless you. <laughs> and you're gonna do all the things. Right, Kendall? Kendall, what are you gonna do? Say all the things. Yeah. All right, I got myself a plate. Doesn't it look delicious? Carlos is one of the best cooks I know, which is awesome. I got Kendall laying down next to Pearl, our stuffed hippo. I got Elsa singing for Kendall. Carlos is eating up. We're doing great. <laughs> we just got done with the movie. Carlos is heading to Walmart to pick up some more formula for the Kendall bug. You got your puppy. Mwah. Is that your puppy? We're just hanging out. That's really about it for now. All right, I gave in and I'm holding Kendall while she's eating. Um, she's kind of sleepy. She's just snuggling up and getting ready for bed, it seems like, and it's only not even six. It's like 5.30 and her grandma, Carlos's mom, and her Mimi, which is Carlos's mom, is coming again with his aunt um, and cousin. So... We'll see if she might already be asleep. She's exhausted. She did a ton of playing today. Um, I don't know if I filmed it at one point, but she was playing. Like her head was all the way up and she's just looking. Um, she just had a really good day. Just a relaxing, lazy, but still she worked her muscles day. So I'm gonna leave it at that so I can spend some time with the family and that I don't show the camera in their face. <laughs> when they get here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. You guys rock. Bye.